week has made me realize that there's just too many differences between how we riot in Uganda and how it's done in Kenya. First of all, we can take a photo like this. It, it would have to be Photoshop. Uh, even, I don't know of a road. Then in Kenya, I saw you, you guys were attacking the police. You were going on top of the tracks of the police. You were making selfie videos, provoking the police. Here, our police... Actually, as you're climbing the track, your, your soul leaves your body. By the time you reach the top of the track like this, your ancestors start making room. Then I also realized that demonstrations in Kenya start slow and small, then start escalating. As we start here, you can't joke without day one. Actually, government just has to make it through day one. That day is after that. Some people wake up late. Some have to take kids to school. Marital problems, transport. Some... Then I saw that you guys even stole that, uh, that parliament thing, that, the mess. By the way, that guy, that guy is the highlight of your demonstration. That guy unconsciously overthrew government. That guy is your speaker. But for us on our side, however annoyed we are, Eh, we have limits. Okay, let me say, our punishment system is a bit solid. Eh, I don't even want to think about the punishment you get for staring that thing. Your own mother will say, he's inside under the bed. I, I also saw that you guys demonstrate throughout the day. I really commend you on that. Because here, as... Lunchtime kills the momentum. I also understand in Kenya, the internet slowed down. Uh, here, they take the whole thing. And these accessories, mobile money. Then I also realized that Kenyans, they riot towards the police. We riot running away. Yeah, the reason is simple. Um, we, we love life. Yeah, we are in love with it. We are in a committed relationship with breathing. A beating heart excites us. We are one with staying alive. Then I saw Kenyan police moving around with horses. In Uganda, if police sends out 20 horses by evening, only seven would return. Then for like six months, you'll start seeing people on their WhatsApp statuses. Strong horse in box for price. Serious buyers only. You start seeing people taking horses as bright price. Uh, in Uganda, is even fine. Congo! Brave stop it. Then I saw several Kenyans on the internet. I remember I was watching Eric Omondi on Jeff Koinange Live and he was saying, Ruto is not being true to his word. This is not what he promised during the campaigns. And I was like, what's the definition of politics in Kenya? Yeah. The last difference. You guys smoke tear gas. The guys, the guys who made that thing have to go back to the drawing board. You know why I'm comparing Uganda and Kenya? It's because similar amendments were proposed here and they were even passed. All of, we didn't even riot. Reason, the people who riot didn't get to know about the amendments. Probably if they had packaged the information in a TikTok video. The people who got to know don't riot. Like I was watching elites in Kenya on the streets. Here, our elites be very annoyed at home. Like, we shall not accept this impunity. This country has gone to the dogs. We shall put our lives on the line until justice is served. We shall give our lives until freedom comes to this country. Likes on post. <laughs>